Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man in the studio, and today we're about to bust open Blackstone Fortress Escalation. Uh, and if you're not familiar with Blackstone Fortress, it's part of the Warhammer Quest uh, standalone series, and it's basically a uh, standalone uh, board game that takes place in the Warhammer 40,000 universe. Uh, it's very similar to like the old school uh, Hero Quest series. And uh, basically the core game came with uh, nine explorers and uh, you picked, well, sort of like eight characters and a twofer, uh, but you picked uh, basically your uh, four explorers and play through uh, like different maps and uh, different experiences, play through the game until you fight like the big boss, uh, your guys like Gain different uh, pieces of equipment, gain strength, become more powerful as you go. Uh, so right when you open it up, you're going to get uh, two new spaceships and some tokens, a uh, little ruler and everything, all like a thick cardboard. And then you're going to get the actual game tiles themselves, like the boards. And this is for like the different missions that you're going to play um, in Escalation. And then here's going to be your book. Uh, this has like all the rules in it, the game stuff, all the assembly guide. And then finally, it has uh, also the rules for the models that come in this set to be played in games of Warhammer 40,000. So, uh, and then here you're gonna have uh, your base packs. This is for all your heroes. Uh, this is for the cultists. You're gonna have uh, the Firebrand, who is like a single uh, cultist with like sort of like a heavy flamer type deal. Uh, the gray blue is gonna be all your cultists, uh, and you're gonna get quite a few different ones, including like a heavy stubber. Uh, sergeant um, etc and then here are all your heroes uh, you're gonna have um, man the names are crazy but you're gonna have a rogue trader uh, who's basically like a pirate sort of like you're gonna have a uh, psyker imperial psyker uh, it's a pretty cool model you're gonna have a servitor who's like a uh, machine part human helper uh, you're gonna have a um, man, Dedalogist techno archaeologist I think is his name uh, but he's basically like an ad mech uh, guy and then you're gonna have Godfrey who is a crusader with like a big sword and shield and uh, I think we got everybody on there and then you're gonna have this one right here uh, this is like your your uh, throne of Malix envelope you open that when you beat the game when you beat uh, you're gonna have in this one, Obsidious Malix makes his return, and he's empowered in this, so he's even stronger. Uh, so he has another data sheet, and then there's all like the cards, data sheets. Uh, there's different like exploration cards. Uh, you're gonna have all your new resources, uh, shrines, chambers, death cards in case any of your characters die. You get new stasis envelopes for everything, and then you get a couple other uh, envelopes to hold some of the uh, contents as well. So, and I definitely recommend the game. Uh, it is awesome. That's your cultist right there. Uh, the characters are sweet. Each one of the models is amazing. Uh, that's your servitor. That's Aradea Madalena, the psyker. That's the uh, Admech uh, techno archaeologist. That's Gottfried Montebrand. And uh, that is your uh, like pirate uh, rogue trader. But it's a very cool game. The models are absolutely amazing. Uh, if you haven't played it yet, I definitely recommend it. That's Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man. That's our Blackstone Fortress Escalation expansion. And I'm out of here.